Hi folks, welcome to the new episode on the live dental procedures that will be telecasting on our channel. This is a case of root canal of a mandibular second premolar that became dead and somehow was troubling our patient. So uh, before we jump on to the video, something brief about me. I am a practicing microendodontist. I am Dr. Puneet. I practice in sector 15, Chandigarh. I have been using microscope from the past five years. So whenever we do a root canal, it's always done, and done under a rubber dam. So uh, we'll be applying rubber dam first. This is a simultaneous technique to apply the rubber dam in which the clamp, the rubber dam sheet and the forcep go in together. First of all, we place the clamp on the tooth. Here I am taking the rubber dam sheet beneath, below the wings of the clamp. Now I'll be stretching the sheet and fixing it to the frame and then using a floss to take the rubber dam sheets through the interdental contacts. We need a wider area to work so we generally try to use more than one teeth on which we are attempting the root canal. So after we are done with the anesthesia and rubber dam application it's time to start assess opening. So we will be using a round bar initially for our assess opening. Since it's a lower premolar, there's no furcation. So uh, instead of the traditional technique in which we try to feel the drop, we always prefer visualizing the things. So here you can see that the roof of the pulp chamber has been breached. We can see the small hole. Since the tooth is non-vital, we do not see any bleeding from the root canal space. Here I'll be using a tapered fissure bar to widen the or to de-roof the chamber. You can use a small round bar also in an outward mode. So now we come to the second and the most important step that is biomechanical preparation or debridement of the root canal system. So uh, here you will notice that instead of putting the file right away into the canal what I'm doing is I'm using lots of sodium hypochlorite which is 5.25 percent in concentration and trying to clean as much debris as possible here I'm using a ultra X device that is an ultrasonic device which activates the hypochlorite and helps in cleaning the root canal system so the major difference while handling a vital and a non vital tooth is that in non vital tooth we need to clean the coronal portion of the root canals first so that there are less chances of pushing the debris through the apical foramen and causing lots of flare-ups. So before taking the working length as we do in a crown down technique I am using the first orifice opener and the glide path up to two-thirds of the working length approximately 16 to 17 millimeters into the canal without pushing the file I'm just debriding the coronal root canal system and using lots of sodium hypochlorite followed by activation with ultrasonic devices remember guys in non vital root canal system the more coronal debris you debride before touching the apical third the lesser number of flare-ups you'll be facing in your root canal journey so now it's time to take the working length. I usually start with a 6 number 2% tapered files. Always put in the files with a pre-curve that is necessary to prevent unnecessary ledges. So now what I'll be doing is we'll be trying to get to the working length by using a 8 number 25 millimeters file. So we can see the wire film confirming our findings of the apex locator. So we've taken the working length. So uh, here you can see the I am spending more of the time using sodium hypochlorite and activation. Now this is the first file that is the 1505 file which is very easily going to the apex. We have moved it in two or three strokes and reached the working length. Now this is the next file that is 25 tip and 4% taper. After each file we will be irrigating the canal copiously with sodium hypochlorite. And this is the same file we are reaching the working length. 
alternatively we are irrigating with sodium hypochlorite solution since we are using the rubber dam we are able to use full strength of the sodium hypochlorite which is the golden solution and uh, in my opinion that is the major difference that is the solution which makes the major difference to your root canal goals you can see the ultrasonics activating the solution and cleaning the root canal system in a very nice way i spend more time with irrigating solutions rather than just the biomechanical debridement with the files so the chemical debridement along with biomechanical preparation is all very important in endodontics so we'll be repeatedly confirming the working length again by using the master file we are using the passive ultrasonic irrigation along with sodium hypochlorite so after this i think we'll be finishing our preparation with a 3504 file the master apical file depends on a lot of factors that we can discuss some other time but here looking at the preoperative radiograph and the non vital tooth i preferred using 3504 as my master apical file this is the last file that i've used we are irrigating copiously with sodium hypochlorite and activating it using ultrasonics the more time you spend i am again and again focusing that more time and more sodium hypochlorite you use lesser the number of lesser the number of flare ups that you'll be facing here we used a uh, non standardized gutta percha we have cut the tip to the last size of our master file that is 35 we can clearly see the apex shining spot at the apex through the microscope now we'll uh, this is the master cone x ray that is so now we'll be using some paper points to see and dry the canals the paper points usually should correspond to the master apical point that you have selected i had these 2504 paper points i used them so now we'll be applying or coating the walls of the canal with a sealer you can use a lanceolus spiral or the master cone or whatever you like now we're placing the master cone which has sealer coated on all the sides we are placing it to the working length that we just finally confirmed with the x-ray we'll be using a touch and heat device to shear off the cone from the coronal portion and then we'll be down packing it and then using a backfill unit to fill up rest of the canal so uh, here we are using that touch and heat device again and slowly and slowly condensing and pushing the gutta percha to the apical thirds of the canal we are creating the space so that moreover when we do the down pack it usually flows into the lateral accessory canals and three dimensionally fills the apical thirds of the root canal space now this is the obturation x ray after the down pack and the back fill so now we can see the gutta percha in the apical thirds of the canals and now we'll be using our backfill unit so uh, we use fast pack by oricam there are lots of good companies available but we are using backfill by fast fill that is oricam So we are condensing the coronal thirds. Now we'll be using uh, canal clean, that is basically alcohol to clean off the coronal thirds of the chamber. We'll use a small applicator tip to brush off the excess sealers of the walls. We have pulled or filled up the coronal thirds with 95% alcohol, and we are scrubbing through a micro brush to get rid of all the. root canal sealer that is lying inside the coronal thirds we'll be washing it through water and then following the bonding protocol one thing i would like to add is we usually use a different colored composite to seal off the orifice here we'll be using a blue colored composite to seal off the orifice 
so here's the agent we are uh, we usually scrub the agent also so after applying the agent we'll be washing it off drying it off and then applying some bonding agent and then use that different colored composite so now our canal or the corner portion of the root canal system is ready for post obturation restoration so now uh, will be a this is the yellow filter that is there inside the microscope so that the materials do not get polymerized by the LED light of the microscope because it's a high intensity light so we are curing the bonding agent and uh, now after curing we will be using the first layer as of blue composite and followed by the usual routine composite for the core build up we may also use dual cure material we are sculpting the composite here using some fine instruments we are removing the excess forming the cusps since the excess was small we usually do not prefer placing too much of crown so wherever it's very necessary a lot of tooth structure has been destroyed we then only prefer using crowns we are curing the composite you can see how beautifully sculpted this composite is we have applied a layer of glycerin to inhibit the oxygen of the atmosphere from stopping the polymerization so now we are done with the restoration also we will be pol followed by polishing of that composite we are using some uh, ivoclear discs to finally get that gloss and highly polished composite we'll be checking the occlusion after removing the rubber dam so that's it uh, we are done with the root canal thank you so much for keeping your precious time do keep on following our page for more such videos